Hello, and welcome to my world. I am Peter Tyler from St. Austell in Cornwall. Maybe you have come across some of my organ videos. If not, I invite you to check them out sometime. But today I am here to talk about my new pipe organ themed clothing design, which you can see me wearing. What happened was, a few weeks ago, I saw a t-shirt on eBay that I really fancied. I didn't actually need another t-shirt, but there was something about the design of that one that really pleased me. But I divvied over it for a bit too long, and they sold out of my size. But then I thought, I could have a go at designing a t-shirt of my own in a similar style. And from that it followed on that it would be a great opportunity to design a pipe organ themed t-shirt that, unlike other pipe organ themed t-shirts I've seen, didn't carry any really blatant message about being an organist or a fan of organ music, and not too blatantly jokey either, but which, on the other hand, could be worn by someone who wasn't really into organs and in fact would look so cool that uh, somebody who wasn't into organs might actually want to wear it. And so uh, this design that I'm wearing now is what I came up with. So here you have a design that uses organ pipes as a background, but which doesn't include the word organ or organist. And it's a design that's to a casual observer it's just a cool design that happens to have got organ pipes in it. But to the select few who are in the know, it's a design with real meaning. At the top it says, Swell to Great. Well, that sounds really positive, doesn't it? Of course, if you know about organs, you'll understand what that actually means. If not, look it up on Google. And the large white lettering in the centre is, of course, shorthand for swell to great. And when you realise that this T-shirt has a pipe organ theme, well, all stops out since 2016, that should be fairly obvious. Swell to great again. And now this lettering and numbering has to do with the pipe organ at Holy Trinity Church in St Austell, which I have played in quite a few of my videos. According to the National Pipe Organ Register, it was originally built circa 1875, although the actual dates may be a few years later. It was enlarged in 1914 and rebuilt in 1973 and it has got 35 speaking stops. Holy Trinity, St Austell. And at the bottom, Bryson Rocks. Well, I couldn't really resist that pun, could I, when the original builder of this particular organ was Bryson Brothers and Ellis. And indeed, the image of organ pipes that I've used comes from the organ at Holy Trinity in St Austell. But, delicious puns on Brighton Rock aside, I had another very good reason for basing my design on the pipe organ at Holy Trinity in St Austell, rather than the one at St Muen, which I regularly play on Sundays. There were currently plans to alter the Holy Trinity church building, and these plans include replacing the pipe organ with a meeting room, which would be a real shame because the pipe organ at Holy Trinity Church is a really fine and beautiful instrument. And those of us who wish to save the pipe organ at Holy Trinity must get the message across that pipe organs are really cool, much cooler than meeting rooms. So, this is how I created my design. On one of my regular visits to Holy Trinity, 
I took several photos of the organ pipes, and I chose one of these that I had taken at a slight angle, as you can see at the bottom of my design. I opened the image up in Pixlr, which is a free online photo editor. I desaturated the image to turn it to black and white. I may have increased the brightness a little. I certainly increased the contrast a few hundred percent, so that large parts of the image turned white. And I used a brush tool around the edges to give it a diffuse and not too straight edge. And in this form, I saved the image to full resolution to maintain the quality. Pixlr, however, is not so good for adding text, because you can only go up to a certain font size, which wasn't large enough for my design. So, in the first instance, I opened the image up in Microsoft Word and used WordArt to add the text at the top and bottom, adding a white border to it. Admittedly, this has its shortcomings, because I found that uh, when I added text using word art, it tended to have a somewhat pixelated edge, more so with certain fonts than with others. But uh, as, uh, as that was in keeping with my, uh, the design of the background in, in this particular design, that wasn't too bad a shortcoming. So uh, again I saved the image and I had to convert it back into an image file. And you can use that, you can use free online software such as Zamzar to do that. And then back to Pixlr. And I gave the, the text I just added with WordArt a mottled finish by using a diffuse brush, semi opaque and then I saved the image again as a transparent PNG file. There are directions that you can find on Google for how to do that. And so I had a transparent image where the sections that sort of show up with the fabric of the colour of the t-shirt are actually transparent so it can be printed on any colour. Although, works best, of course, with medium shades. And having done that, for the final process, the, the white text, I tried to do that using Microsoft Word, using a different method, but that didn't work. So I tried PicMonkey, which is another free online program for photo editing, and that offers you a, quite a range of fonts for adding text, and you can add it in a, quite, quite a large size, as large as I needed for, for this design. So that's what I did, and I saved the image again, still as a transparent PNG file, but with the white text not transparent. And so I had my finished design. And the next stage, of course, was to get it printed. So I did my research, and it seemed that the best printing method for this particular design would be direct-to-garment printing, which uses a special kind of printer with special inks to print the design directly onto the garment not using a transfer as in other methods. There were a couple of t-shirts printing places in town, but as far as I could tell, neither of them offered this particular method. So I looked online and came across a place called Cool Tomato Clothing, which happens to be based in Cornwall, although in a different area. Like other t-shirt design places, online. They have on their websites a tool for t-shirt designing to which you can upload your own image and position it on the garments, having of course 
made your choice of garment to have it printed on. So I used that and it was easy to use. And I placed my order. And about a week and a half later, my order came for a sweatshirt and a t-shirt in the same design. And from what I can tell, they seem to have done a good job. The t-shirt does have a dark area around the printed design, but from what I can gather, this is because of the pre-treatment solution that they had to put on it first, and it should come out after the first wash. But anyway, I'm very pleased with how they've turned out, and I look forward to wearing them out and about, and to getting my message across at Holy Trinity, of course. Thank you for watching this. I hope you have enjoyed it. Please remember to check out my other organ videos.